Welcome back to Sexified Fallout New Vegas. I'm Rook, and this lovely Legionnaire is nasty. And look at look at how she looks in this armor. I figured, you know, since we're out here, uh, it would be safe to go ahead and run around in some Legion armor because who the hell cares about factions when we're in the big empty or wherever this place is? I don't know. Uh, but we just had a long, long conversation with a bunch of very strange robots. And uh, so I, before I leave this room, I figured I'd run around and check some stuff. And there's there's some things. There's some goodies in boxes and stuff. And I want to see. Oh, my God. Look, I can take all of it. So I'm going to run around here real quick. And I don't know that I want to. Okay, there's Dr. Boros. I don't really know that I want to talk with these robots again right now. Uh, but I do want to just grab all their stuff because they don't seem to care. So we're going to just grab it. Um, I'm not interested in unlocking things at the moment. I'm just too impatient. I want to get out and see the world a little bit here. But I don't want to pass out on, pass up on some loot. Pass out. So I don't know about this Legion... Uh, flag thing that's on my head. Let, let's take a quick look here. I mean, the armor looks pretty slick on her, but um, that's the Vexilarius armor. Uh, maybe let's try one of these. And Okay, yeah, it's basically the same armor without the flag on her head, and so I like that better. Let's, let's go over and get this stuff. So, oh, and you may notice that uh, I don't have that music constantly playing right now. And again, thank you so much, DJ, for informing me that that was part of a radio uh, signal. I don't understand how you can stand those leg things. Uh, don't worry about my leg things. They're they're fine. Dr. Dalla, though, I she, she intrigues me. You are an unusual specimen to so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank. Fearless and proud as a teddy bear. Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination-inducing fear, most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Yet you have no such fear. Facing me, epidermis fleshed with blood, plasma running molten beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Will you indulge me? Say a few words. Face towards the monitors, please, so that I might record it for further examination. Um. Okay, well, we got another quest picking our brains. Uh, so, yeah, the quick scribe jumped over the lazy paladin. Yes, yes, go on. Seeing your lips and mouth forming the words, both revolting and somehow... How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? To control each muscle and the tongue? Like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and flopping in one's mouthful cavity. <laughs> God, she's such a freak. Um, hey, uh, look, I have a real teddy bear if you want it. Whatever for? Well, I thought you liked them. You keep referring to them. No, I like teddy bears. Uh, are you sure your words aren't jumbled? Teddy bears come in many sizes. Your size is what intrigues me the most. Some say the teddy bears can't be living, breathing things. They are wrong. They are large biological forms. Breathing, heaving, snarling, coughing. Mm. <laughs> Lobotomites are my teddy bears. Oh, yes. Uh, I had other questions. An interrogation? How fascinating. Please begin. Uh, it seems to me that you have more biological needs than your counterparts. What? Nonsense. <laughs> OK. 
okay. We can... Alright, now we get to do some things. Uh, okay, we're going to close our eyelids, breathe deeply, then stretch languidly. What? What are you doing? <laughs> she seemed to like that. Um, so we're going to... Turn and cough roughly. Oh, we're leveling up also. And then we're going to slowly scratch our nose. Stop it. Why? Why are you making me partake in this filthy formography? <laughs> formography. <laughs> Run your hands along the side of your face and exhale rapidly. Enough. I am already intrigued. You have sufficiently... Percolated me. Percolated. I don't know what it is about the biology of lobotomites. It... it infects my thoughts. All that skin and muscle... and tissue. Um... Yeah, why don't you just give in? There's nothing wrong with looking at the human body. Perhaps... perhaps there is value in what you say. I... I did so enjoy breathing once. Long ago. Um... Yeah, I could come back any time and just breathe if you want. Would you? I feel so ashamed, but yet so intrigued. You'll need to give me a rest in between visits, or else my gel might run over. <laughs> if you're ready, let me radar scan you. Slowly. haven't watched the previous video uh, maybe you know or don't uh, that they scooped out my brain and my spine and my heart and and replaced it with like electronic uh, you know circuits and gadgets and stuff that uh, now I'm much hardier and I can take more damage and all kinds of good perks uh, as a result but uh, it is kind of a little bit weird um, so uh, yeah why did you remove my brain and how Oh, removing it is a simple procedure. Well, except the complications it can cause to the heart and spine. But once the heart and spine are gone, no trouble at all. Clamp the subject down. One laser incision around the skull. Crack. Snip. Done. The brain is finally free of the skinvelope, which is then kept automated for cleanup duties around Big Mountain. Lobotomites. With you, however... Something is definitely wrong. We've never had a lobotomite who kept speaking after being forcibly lobotomized. I am relieved the pacification field is working. If it didn't, I would broadcast some concern to my colleagues about safety protocols. Uh, yeah, but how am I still talking and walking around? That is a good question. My theory is that the Tesla coils in your brain pan are still connected to your brain somehow. It really could be anywhere. Brains are a lot smarter than most researchers give them credit for. We still have your spine and heart. If you were to somehow find your brain, wherever it slurped off to, you could humanically reduce yourself again. And who are you and what do you do here? Why, my little bear of teddiness. <laughs> I am Dr. Dalla, first head chief researcher of mineralogy and medicinal sciences. I have 211 doctorates in both applied sciences and techniques to apply those sciences. Wow. 
I also possess a degree in curiosity and advanced curiosity. <laughs> okay. That is merely schooling, however. When possible, I prefer field work and observation to holotape eidetics. It has proven useful, especially now. I have become the expert on humanology and lobotomite behavior here at Big Mountain. My research doesn't descend into formography. It is only science. Uh, 211 doctorates? How's that even possible? I mean, you know, well, I kind of know how it's possible when she's got degrees in, like, curiosity. <laughs> but let's ask. Why, we create not only scientific marvels here at Big Mountain, but new sciences as well. Everything can be quantified, categorized, and dissected until every group can be subgrouped or partitioned. First Head Chief Research, that's a, little, a lot of titles. What is a name without a title or a suffix for the sake of hierarchy? It is a long-standing quantification of personality and importance. We could not do without it. Surely you must be aware of the gravity of such attached appellations, just as surely as you must have a title. Yeah, I'm, I'm sometimes called a courier. Oh, a mailman. A delivery man. Someone who takes parcels from place to place using their primitive feet or similar conveyance. You are the second one I've met in recent times. Very different specimens. There was another courier? Of course. You must have met others in your travels. This one had met other couriers, too. Although it sounded as if he hadn't met the correct one. He asked us all many questions. And then he asked a most perplexing one. We had to segment the event out of our memories for safety. What was the question? I do not know. Nor should we try to access it. Perhaps Klein has the logs. My evaluation would be to let your own curiosity go. I do not think that Klein remembers the conversation as being satisfactory. Wow, there's so much another quest added. Man, I'm getting so many quests. And there's so much dialogue. Uh, you know, I feel strange here. Peaceful, but on edge. It is the pacification field emitters that are broadcasting into the emptiness of your skull. <laughs> Without a brain, your aggression is suppressed in here. Um, yeah, is there any way to shut it off? Why would you want such a thing? You might surrender to your hormones and commit primal aggression on me, on us, again and again. <laughs> then I would have to return the favor, activating my vivisectors and gently lobotomizing you from behind. <laughs> Not something I would relish doing. Sure. No, the only way to circumvent the field is to have a brain. And we extracted that like we do all the lobotomites here. Okay, we've spoken enough. Until our next interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. Wow, okay. And so, we're, all right, we're leveling up now. Um, let's go ahead and take Barter up. Oh, no, we were working on getting everything up to 80, right? Yeah, let's just, let's do that. No, no, wrong way. Let's go like this. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna even it all out. Uh, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay, great, wow, what long conversations we have with these robots in here. I like it though, this is, this is fascinating. I, this DLC, I mean, some of the other DLC content didn't like, you know, like trip my triggers too much, but uh, this one, especially the Dala and the sexual overtones and all the the weird phrasing and stuff is really super fun. Let, okay, where am I going? I'm just running around. Uh, I think I've looted all the chests. Let's go up top here. I don't necessarily want to get into a conversation, another long conversation. Oh, well, there's got some doors we can go through. Oh, wow, what the hell? Look at, what is this? What is that? I don't know. 
And oh look, a dino toy. We can just take it. You know, I'm gonna leave that dino toy there because it's cute. I like it up there on the shelf. It's nice. But we can take all this other stuff. And yep, yep, yep. All kinds of goodies. Lots of mentats for some reason. Wow, this is great. Oh, and so they gave me some weapons, and I'll need to make sure I get those set up so that we can utilize them. Um, but I just want to go around and check this place. And we're not gonna I'm not gonna unlock anything. We'll be back in here at some point, I'm sure. And talking to the other robots and unlocking all the stuff that's locked. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna loot everything that is not locked. And then we'll have some more goodies to collect later on. Have you come for hello? Oh, I'll give you a hello. A hello unsurpassed in all creation. Um, no, not at the moment. We'll okay, we'll talk to you later. I wanna go. Um, before this video gets too, too long, because, man, the last one, it's like I'm trying to keep the videos down to around 20 minutes if I can, uh, but the last one, uh, I just, there was no good break in the dialogue. Everything was fascinating and cool and stuff. Okay, that goes to elevator to Big Mountain. Uh, this goes elevator to the sink. I want to go back to the sink and uh, check out, they, they gave us some something that should allow us to interface with the stuff, all the little doodads and equipment and things, and um, we're gonna we'll pick up our girls again and take them with us. But I am so glad I left them behind because it would have been in the way when we were doing our stuff in that other room. But let's see if we can now talk. Yeah, yeah, the Sonic Emitter Revelation now available in vendor interface. Okay. Salutations and felicitations, sir, and a most jocund welcome to the sink. <laughs> I am your electronic valet and household central processor. May I be of service, sir? Uh, sir, are you aware that you're aware I'm a woman, right? Indubitably, sir. But it is with a great lugubriousness that I must disclose that my program has installed only the masculine honorific, sir. Moreover, <laughs> they neglected to enclose a parameter by which said honorific might be omitted altogether. Over my most strenuous of remonstrances, sir. Um... Uh... Are you some kind of artificial intelligence? Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. There is no intelligence here, sir. You mean there are other personality modules here? Indeed, <laughs> sir. Though if sir's aim is to activate them, I lament to inform, sir, that most have been offline for some years. If sir were to ask my opinion, I should venture that sir is better off without them. However, if Sir is determined to inflict upon Sir's self their dubious services, Sir might locate backup personality disks elsewhere in the facility. Uh, so why is that? The other modules are rather erratic, Sir. Their personality matrices are built on flawed logic and have not weathered the years well, Sir. So I can access their functions without loading the personality holotapes? Tragically, the core operating systems are also located on the personality tapes, sir. Once the tape is installed, sir may request I switch their dialectic interfaces off, and I shall oblige with great delectation. However, <laughs> sir will still be required to locate and install a backup holotape to access their functionality. Now, why are there so many personality modules? As I am given to understand, sir, this facility was once the property of a Dr. Mobius. He crafted the personality modules as part of a collection of experiments on the subject of machine-human interface. As to the reason for the unusual choices of devices to receive the modules, I cannot say. Uh, okay, let me ask you something else. Indubitably, sir. Uh, what services do you provide? In addition to managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, I can provide, sir, with direct access to the commissary. Any goods Sir might require may be purchased through my shopkeep interface, whence tiny robots shall deliver them forthwith to this very domicile. Um, okay. I, I need my equipment repaired. Very good, Sir. Aha! So, yeah, it would cost me 112 
grand to yeah so they gave me a bunch of caps i got 30 36 000 caps but there is no way i'm gonna have him repair all these shishka pops and stuff i can do all that myself i just was curious what the pricing would look like um and there is at least one thing that i want repaired this and okay that cost quite a bit and I should have just repaired it myself because I have uh, repair kits but oh this is the dog gun this cyber dog gun doesn't do a lot of damage uh, but I'm curious to, to try it out and we got cheese embrace um, I got so many things here but look that's it's cool like they can repair all this stuff here so this would only cost me yeah, let's go ahead and repair that outfit. And how's my Asuka armor? It's in perfect condition. Um, I can do a little bit of stuff, I suppose. The patient gown. Oh, I've also got a uh, mad scientist. Yeah, mad scientist scrubs. Uh, they look just like normal vanilla kind of mad scientist scrubs, I guess. But... Um, it's weird that I've got them. What else? I got so much garbage. I need to do stuff with this. What else did I want to repair, though? I can't remember. There was one other thing I was thinking about. Wow, look. It's barely damaged. So this is the other. The Sonic Emitter Revelation. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to use that at some point. But, okay, we're done in here. We're done. If Sir would press Sir's final area against my primary instrument panel, I might vibrate at a soothing frequency. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I'll pass at the moment. But, uh, wants to massage us? Okay, talk to book shoot. Yeah, so we need, we need the holotapes for all the different things. And, yeah. What, uh, what are these tanks for? Oh, oh, this room got opened up by them. Yeah, this... We couldn't get in here before. What is all this stuff? I don't know, but... Okay. Tank, this is... This is your heart. Apparently, cranial surgery complications require its removal until your brain is returned. Your heart can't be trusted to keep beating in your body. Your new heart seems to be working just fine, however. Okay, and... Fortunately, you know, while it said I had scars, man, I'm not seeing any scars anywhere on our lovely girl. So that's a, a good thing. And uh, it must be tiny, tiny little hairline scars. All right, based on the other tanks in the room, you can safely assume this is where your brain would be floating. It's currently missing from both the tank and its proper place in your head, but you seem to be doing just fine without it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, here's your spine without a brain stem to snap it onto here it floats your back doesn't feel any different from the spines removal if anything whatever was placed in there makes you feel stronger good so yeah we've got uh, we've got like cyber cyber stuff and we're again you know on our back look not even a little scar you can see and that's great but oh, what's in this room? This is okay. Th this room was available to us before, and but again, like we can't interface with Muggy or any of the toaster and stuff like that uh, until we find the hollow tapes for this stuff. Uh, but I do want to talk to the toaster because who wouldn't? Um, but this equals MC squared. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go and do some of the questiness in this thing but the, man there's just so much to explore all around this area but I think we are good to go we did man those all those robots okay elevator to big mountain this must take us down this door out here takes us up to the balcony well actually the are precisely where sir has left them and should the toaster say otherwise, I remind sir that it is a waste room. 
Okay. Um, oh, and look, we've got... Uh, there's a reloading bench here, and this workbench... The workbench... Right, right, right. Do I... The question is, do I have the ingredients to make... Um, armor? Oh, that's not armor, that's ammo. What the hell? Miscellaneous ammo, aid, recipes, weapons. Weapons, miscellaneous, white. Where's armor? What the hell? Weapons. And then it should be. Alright, well, recipes. It's gotta be it, right? Look at all the magazines. I can make all these magazines. Because I've got all this. Oh, the thing that it takes is that I don't have a lot of is Wonder Glue. It takes lots of Wonder Glue to make these magazines. But uh, we can make these magazines because we've got a bunch of blank magazines. So if I should need them, there they are. And what I'm looking for is this. Look, I've got gecko hides and one set of leather armor reinforced. And we're going to make... Our set, our, ourselves another set of the Shades armor right now. That is what I've been wanting for some time and this is why I love running around uh, with all the junk in the world because you never know where you're going to end up and what you're going to need to to make something good and so we've got what we needed to make something good and I think we are doing great. I, I really hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, please smash that like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll talk with all of you again very, very soon.